It's very nice, so you have to speak up a little bit if no possible. Problem. No problem. Okay. How are you guys doing? Great! No, we're doing fine. Yeah. Do you enjoy a festival like this? Love it. Yeah. yeah. Why? No sound check. It's totally unpredictable. Anything can happen. The power can go down. It's great. I love it. Well, you know that Lenny Kravitz sound checked for about four hours or so. Did he? Yeah. Did he? Good old Lenny. So what have you done to your hair? I just need to ask this. You need to ask this? Do you have a burning need to ask this? Yeah, uh, my hair mutated, actually, you know? Winds from Chernobyl, they reached very far. And now my hair's glowing. It's turned all kind of colors. Very strange. Mm. You, I noticed during your last show, I saw you, you have become a little fashionable. You really have nice clothes and everything. Become a little fashionable? Become a little fashionable? Okay. Anyway, the band has made a couple of changes, as you know. You know, new bass player, new record. Got a new, little bit of a new vibe and new sounds and new songs. We're really into this new record, Stain. And, um, you know, things happen after a period of time. You look back on what you've done, you make changes. It's really what it is, more than anything else. The, uh, one of the important changes, of course, Doug Wimbish, who's a bass player. I noticed that uh, during one of your previous shows that he's taken uh, a little uh, bigger space, you know, as far as the bass playing goes. So that, that has consequences for you. Consequences. You love this kind of thing out here, don't you? It's very, um, how do I say, espionage. Yes, I love that. No, I mean, he's, playing, he's doing great stuff. Yeah, yeah we got. He's playing uh, the bass. He plays um, certain things in the guitar register, like when we, he has a bass solo during when we do the song "Bye," and he plays a lot of stuff in the guitar register. I think it's cool, you know. It's like having another guitar player on stage sometimes. On on stage, it's even more so than on the record, I think. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Why is that? Um, just like Phil's and things that he's doing. Hey, what's this? What, what, are you, what are you trying to say? I'm joining you on this interview. Go ahead. I like the way, I like the way you say it. it has consequences. It has consequences for you. Okay, maybe that I expressed you're myself. Being, you're, being, you're, you're being provocative. Uh -huh. But being a journalist, that's your, you know, that's part of your gig. I can dig it. No, we, we're doing real good. No problems. Another thing is that, you know, a couple of the bands that play here, they use sort of old equipment, you know, old tube, uh, amps and stuff. You actually are one of the few bands that use the modern equipment in a modern way. I mean, uh, there's bands that want to you know, use the old equipment and sound like the old days. Yeah, well, you know, the problem with that is, see, I'm not, uh, you know, we're not nostalgic for the past. I mean, look, I got a Wawa pedal, like everybody's got a Wawa pedal, and that's cool, right? But we're not nostalgic. It's about what's happening now. Because when you turn around, they look at, like, say, my amps and go, Wow, you got all this equipment, right? Well, I don't have a drug problem, right? So I don't, I spend my money on things that I like, you know? And the other thing is like, when you go to buy old amps, it costs you money to buy an old, an old Marshall. It's gonna cost you a lot of money. It's gonna cost you a lot. So when people say, oh yeah, I got my simple little setup here, don't be deceived. One of those old guitars, let me tell you, Les Paul from 1960 is about $20,000. So it's like, it's all the same stuff in the end, really. I mean, the equipment you have must cost some money. Yeah, it does. I worked hard for it. We worked hard for it, and no apologies, you know? We're not, uh, we, we get into it not for the fetishism of having stuff. It's because we do it because we want options in terms of creating sound. That's the whole thing.